Yahare, El Tren, I really get a kick out of the song. We're not live yet. I get a kick out of the song. Chuka, 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 chuka. <laughs> How do you write a song? Okay, I need some words right here. What am I going to put? I know. Chuka, 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 chuka. And it, they made a millionaires, man. This song. I could have written a song like this. Chuka, 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 chuka. El Tren, Yahare, man. <laughs> Silly song. It really is. Good morning. Good morning, Bobby Flores. How you doing, Bobby? Good morning, good morning, amigo. Anyways, 8.55 in the morning, Tuesday morning, yakari. I'm not live yet. I'm going to go live. Let's go live right now. There we go. Yakari el dren. Chugga, chugga, chugga. I, I get a kick out of the song, man. Whoever writes a song like this, it says, Hey, man, I'm going to write a song. It's going to be called El Tren. And I know I need some words. I know. Chugga, 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 chugga. It doesn't work, man. Well, they worked for them because they made millions and millions of dollars off of this song. Anyway, good morning. 8.56 in the morning. Tuesday morning. 9-11-2018. No doubt we're always going to remember. We're never going to forget what happened. It's, um, on 9-11... It's the, really, man, it's going to live in our hearts forever and ever, no doubt. Good morning, shout out, good night to Lisa, Lisa, good morning. Uh, Victoria Rich, good morning. James Gonzalez, how you doing, brother? Mr. Bobby Flores, Houston, Texas, in the house. Good morning. Woo, I tell you what, it is time for question of the day, but I tell you what, before we get to question of the day, let's talk a little bit. Let's see what the heck's going on out here. Check this out, crazy story. A car is being removed from, from a bowling alley when a car crashed through a wall of a bowling alley and uh, from the backside and knocked down like about three lanes of pins while people were bowling. Can you imagine bowling and you're getting ready to throw the ball and you're going to knock those pins down and a car comes crashing in from the other side? Well, uh, one person threw the bowling ball and knocked the crap out of the driver who crashed through the wall and he uh, considered it a strike, so he went ahead and put strike on the score sheet and he, there you go. He felt he was a winner. How crazy to crash your car for one and even more so to crash your car through a bowling alley. <laughs> wow. Crazy, right? Check this out. A burglar broke into a house, drank 24 bottles of beer, and took a couple of shots of Jägermeister, and then tried to escape on a bike when the cop showed up. My question is this. First things first. Man, whatever house he broke into, they were stocked up on beer and stocked up on Jägermeister. Man, for, for the burglar to break in, opens the fridge and sees all these beers and goes, huh, I hit the jackpot. Now, mind you, it's okay to put them in a box and get the hell out of there. The burglar didn't do this. He cracked open the beer, cracked open another beer, cracked open another beer and said, hey, man, I'm going to get some Jägermeister. Took a shot, cracked open another beer. <laughs> what kind of a burglar hangs out at the house and starts drinking up the beer and taking shots of Jägermeister? And what makes matters worse, the cop showed up, and well, when the cop showed up, the, we'll call him the drug burglar, got on the bike and took off on the bike. Well, the cops caught up to him, but hey, man, <laughs> the drug burglar was thrown in jail. <laughs> a burglar that was so thirsty, he drank 24 bottles of beer and a couple of shots of Jägermeister. Now, the owners of the house are now suing the burglar, claiming they want their beer and Jägermeister back. There you go. Good morning, Jada. Good morning, Lucero. Medina. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Lucero. How we doing? Uh, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning. Rosemary Gomez. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Tuesday morning. Let's see what else is going on here. Um, do, do, ba, do, do. Check this out. Last night, a driver in the city of Tijuana got tired of waiting on a traffic light to turn green, so he got out of his car and uh, <laughs> he removed the traffic light, got back in his car, and kept on driving. <laughs> hey, man, if you get impatient about the light, you don't got to take off the light. Just take off. You know, I'm going to come clean. I've done this several times, even more so being with Uber, when that light will not turn green. I mean, the streets are empty. This actually happened to be Sunday morning. The streets were empty, man. 6.30 in the morning, I'm out there, I'm at the light. Waiting and waiting and waiting, and on the other side is green, and I'm waiting and waiting, and nothing for about five minutes. Waiting, and I said, screw this. I took a lift and went and picked up my passenger and went on with life. These lights can piss you off. They really, really can. But this guy here, he didn't do that. He just didn't take a left. What he did, he got out of his car, took down the traffic light, got back in his car and left. 
Hey, man. <laughs> if you had time to take down that traffic light, you had time to wait. That's all I'm going to say. Good morning, Chad. I'm going to have to Leroy Urbazo. Madam, he is very young. Good morning, Leroy. How are we doing, amigo? Ara Cantu. Christina Aguilera. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Lucero Medina. Buenos dias, buenos dias. And let's see what else is going on. Check this out. Another crazy story. I put uh, this story yesterday. A woman. Uh, caught an eight-foot shark off the coast in Corpus Christi, Texas. You know, how many times have I told you guys, stay the hell out of the water? But everybody insists on going to the beach, going in the water, and saying, it's so nice, it's so cool. Meanwhile, sharks are swimming in there. There you go. A woman caught an eight-foot alligator off the coast of Corpus Christi. What makes matters worse, she posts a picture on top of the shark, opening the shark's mouth while the shark is still alive. As soon as the picture was taken, they let the shark go back in the water. Why would you do that? All you did was piss off the shark. Now the shark is going to be waiting for the next person in the water and saying, Who's he coming on this? Now it's my turn. And now he's going to want to go eat somebody. You should have went ahead and killed the shark and life goes on. There's plenty of other sharks in the water. Trust me, there's plenty of sharks in the water. You don't got to let that shark back in the water. I wouldn't let that shark back in the water. Actually, uh, the, t the, the, the shark was a tiger shark. You know how I know that? Well, because the tiger shark was eating cereal and he said, They're great! Nah, not funny. That's not funny, Rabbit! Okay, that's not funny whatsoever. Good morning, John. I got to Melanie Alba Trevino. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm going to go and get to my question of the day. Now, this question of the day was presented to me, and uh, we talked about this for a little bit, and I said, You know what? This is a good question of the day. I want you to think about this. Stay with me on this, on question of the day. We've all gone to the movies, right? You may not go like I don't go anymore, uh, but we've all gone to the movies. True? We've all gone to the movies. That being said, you know, you, you buy popcorn, you buy a soda, whatever the case. Maybe if you sneak in some candy bars, whatever. Right? You're reading, you throw the papers on the floor, whatever. Whatever the case. My question of the day, when you're when you go to the movies... And you're done at the movies. Do you pick up your trash and take it outside and put it inside the trash can? Or do you leave your trash, you know, under your seat like I do? <laughs> I do. I'm not going to pick up my own trash. I'm leaving the trash right there. They got people to do that. Well, that's my question of the day because some people see it as, uh -uh, I'm going to pick up my own trash. I'm not the way I'm going to do it. Some people say, screw that, man. They can pick it up. That's their thing. They can pay for that. So, like I said, some people may see it as, man, what a bunch of pigs, man. They don't. They leave all their crap under the seat. I don't see it that way. I mean, hey, man, you're eating. You're having your popcorn. That's part of the price that you pay when you're buying this expensive popcorn, expensive sodas. Nowadays, it's very expensive to eat at a movie theater. It's all true, man. The popcorn is how much now? Like 20 bucks, 12 bucks, and they say it's all you can eat. How much popcorn can you eat? $12 of popcorn is a lot of popcorn, man. It really is. The sodas are like 8 or $10. Uh, candy bars like 8 or $10. The condoms are 8 or $10. Birth control devices are 8 or $10. Everything's expensive at the, at the movie theater. It really, really is. And But now they make it more to where they're trying to really get your money. Now they put reclining seats, and now they got where the waiter will bring you food and bring you beer, and now they got people that will give you a massage and rub your toes and give you a petty and a medi while you're watching the movies. Man, movie theaters go all out nowadays. They really, really do. I mean, I don't see myself going to a movie theater and being with a girl and saying, uh, on, a, on a first date, right? On a first date, being in a movie theater, being at the concession stand, and go, can I take your order? And I go, oh, yes, ma'am. Um... Um, we'll take a large soda for both of us because we're romantic, and we'll take a large popcorn for both of us because we're romantic, and uh, we'll take one hot dog because uh, we're romantic, and uh, we'll take a box of condoms because we're romantic, and we'll take a, a birth control device because uh, she doesn't want to get pregnant, and uh, let me see here what else, and I think that's it for right now, that's it for right now. Nothing else? No, nothing else. You want to want a vibrator? No, no vibrator, that's what I'm here for. That's it, that's it, nothing else. Okay, sir, it's $120. Man, $120. And you pay it, and there you go. You could have stayed at home and watched illegal cable, like I do. Save your money, stay home, and watch illegal cable, and you're going to be good to go. So, head on over to Robert Rebus Internet Radio group page right now and answer me, pregunta por favor. Now, 
whenever you go to a movie theater and you're done at the movies, whatever you have, your popcorn, your soda, whatever you have, do you pick up your trash right afterwards and take it out with you? Or do you leave that stuff under the seat? <laughs> How convenient, right? Just really, man, whenever I'm eating popcorn or whatever at the movie, which I never do, but if I do, I just throw it under the seat. Let's say I'm at a Spurs game. I was at the Houston Natural game a couple of weeks ago. I drank a 24-ounce can soda for $12. Do you really think I'm going to help them by picking up that can? Screw them for $12. They can come pick it up. I finished my can of, my can of beer. I threw it under the seat. They can pick it up. I'm going to go get another 24-ounce uh, can of beer for $12. When I'm done with that one, I'm going to throw that baby under the seat. I'm paying $12 for a beer. They can pick it up. Head on over to Robert Weaver's Internet Radio Group page and answer me pregunta. Whenever you're done at the movies, do you pick up your trash and take it with you? Or do you just leave it under the seat? Let's get me going. This is something by the Escape Club. The Wild Wild West. 9.06 in the morning. Good morning. Tuesday morning. Double R Radio. I'm tired. I'm hungry. You know, yesterday the radio station going, we can talk. Yesterday, no lie, I went to H-E-B. I went to H-E-B, and I'm a kind of person to where whenever I eat something, I need something sweet. That's the way I am. A cookie, a donut. I just need something sweet. So yesterday I was buying some groceries, and I go, man, I got to get something sweet for whatever I'm going to eat tonight, which was yesterday. So I'm looking around, and I'm going like, man, H-E-B's got the thing, Tres Leches. Have you all ever tried Tres Leches? Tres leches. Oh, oh. This tres leches at H-E-B is better than sex. Well, anyways, and cheaper, too. Well, anyways, I got their tres leches. One slice of tres leches for three ninety-five. dollars huh. But I'm telling you, man, if you've never tried H-E-B tres leches, give it a try, man. It's simply delicioso. It really, really is. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, RobertRevisRadio.com. Just click on the blue button, and you'll be joining me live. Whatever. Let's get back to the morning show.